let us lend our feet to the gospel so that it will race ahead and reach everywhere. I wish I had a thousand lives to dedicate to the gospel. Teresa Merlo was born in Castagnito d'Alba, Cuneo, Italy on February 20, 1894. She spent the first 20 years of her life in the midst of her family, attending school and participating in the life of the parish where she worked as catechist and helped to form young women to the Christian life. In June 1915, when she was 21, she met Father James Alberione, the founder of the Pauline family, who invited her to become a part of the first group of the future Daughters of St. Paul. Teresa accepted his invitation with simplicity, faith, and the docility of heart that made her always prompt to do the will of God. In 1922, she and several other young women made their first profession of the religious vows and was given the name Thecla in honor of a disciple of the Apostle St. Paul. In docile and creative communion with Father Alberione, the founder of the Daughters of St. Paul and the whole Pauline family, she carried out the role of mediator in an extraordinary way at his side. She lived in a spirit of humility and faith, constantly searching for the will of God. She made a very discreet and maternal contribution to the birth of other institutes of the Pauline family. Tecla Merla's spiritual journey, marked by heroic faith, was expressed through humble and serene adherence to the will of God. Through her example, words and prayer, Sister Thecla guided and supported the Daughters of St. Paul for more than 40 years in the new vocation that Jesus Master had entrusted to them in the Church. Strive for the glory of God and the good of everyone was her constant encouragement to her daughters, thus giving rise to always new apostolic initiatives and opening new centers to spread the truth through modern means of communication, which she considered to be instruments of evangelization. Sister Thecla always kept the Word of God at the center of her life and allowed herself to be evangelized by it. She told the daughters of St. Paul, Let us lend our feet to the gospel so that it will race ahead and reach everyone. I wish I had a thousand lives to dedicate to the gospel. After having offered her life to the Holy Trinity for the sanctification of every daughter of St. Paul, Thecla died on February 5, 1964, leaving her daughters the rich legacy of her teachings and directives, which helped them carry out their mission with dedication and conviction in the Church. Most Holy Trinity, thank you for the gifts of light, grace, and virtue granted to Venerable Sister Tecla Merlo, and for having chosen and made her the wise mother and reliable guide of the daughters of St. Paul. Through her intercession, grant that I may live of her great loves, Jesus Master, 
the Eucharist, the Church, and the Gospel, proclaimed to all people with instruments of social communication to the point of complete sacrifice. Lord, if it is your divine will, exalt this faithful servant to the joy of the Church and the good of humanity, and grant me through intercession the favor I ask of you. Amen. <music>